Welcome to the Bondi Scrapper channel. Uh, doing a bit of street scrapping today. Not that I'd planned to, but I've got to go up the road and get a couple of things. And this is a route that, uh, or route, if you want to say route. But yeah, this is a, a route that I used to do all the time up until about six months ago and then uh, changed the way I commute. But I used to pick up a lot of stuff on the walk home. I used to go an extra station beyond where I live and and uh, have a bit of a look and get lots of things. Uh, I know there was a box up here that I just noticed. Better go and have a quick look. There's one day, lots of stuff gets dumped right at that spot there where you can, where you can see the uh, pile of junk right there. But um, there was one day I came past here and I don't know what was going on but a builder had kind of dumped a whole heap of stuff and there was just kilos and kilos and kilos of copper, copper wire but uh, today pizza boxes well it's not going to get anyone anywhere I don't know why you couldn't just put them in the uh, in the cardboard recycling bin but people are strange and sit over there leaning against the tree I'd say she's a big chunk of steel by the looks of it and um, walking along Walking along, I can't really take steel, so that can stay there. Uh, kind of mainly after, I suppose I've been a bit of a cord cutter today. So yeah, just after copper and maybe some bits of brass, maybe some aluminium, maybe. This is kind of how we roll around here. Um, when in doubt, just throw it in the middle of the driveway. Oh, hello, what have we got there? You can see it's coming up on it. Looks like we've got a vacuum cleaner, that'll be a bit of cord. Don't want the shopping trolley. Oh, it's not a vacuum, it's uh, an old pressure washer. So let's grab that. Got to get the got to get the side cutters out. I can go in with the other ones that uh, I picked up a couple just before before I start, decided to start filming. So this is a dumpster that always has timber in it, and I've just had a peek inside, and gosh, that's not timber. That's a decent bit of wire and cord and stuff. So uh, I'm taking it. Because obviously no one wants it. Well that was lucky because um, I went to the office to ask them whether I could scrounge through their dumpster and that was all closed but the owner was there and uh, so he said yeah go for it mate. And, uh, which was very nice of him. So I'm just having a look through here and here's a little power switch and I've got all that big bundle of wire that was there before and I just thought I'd take a little hike through and um, this is all the stuff because I what I did was I stripped it all as I went um, because I had time to do that and just up here there's another few little bits and pieces and I think that's probably the size of it yep that'll be it so uh, that's pretty good. Oh, some plates. No, that's all the wire I can see. Oh, wait on. What have we got hiding here? I think. What is that? Throw that up there. Oh, 
Oh, that's um, that's coaxial cable, which is no better than, than a lump of metal, really, or worse. No one wants that crap in Australia. Um, so yeah, that's the size of that one. There's a, an aerial there, but hey, I'm on foot, so I can't do that. Would have been a nice bit of aluminium in the aerial. Oh, and I think it's going to rain, so I'm going to get rained on on the way home. So, what have we got here? Nothing in the way of wire, and, and I've already got a load, it's too heavy to take apart. And a bit of a fan with a bit of low grade insulated copper wire we can chop off. These fans. God, you buy them for like nine dollars from a big hardware store, and they're just rubbish. They last, oh, I don't know. People just buy them and then throw them when winter comes. So, it's another twenty cents to add to the collection so far. That's. But all this happening plus quite a few kilos on the backpack. There's a random starter motor on the side of the road. There we go, that have, well, a minimum that terminal there's brass. But uh, again, haven't got the room to carry it. But uh, yeah, just leave your starter motor there. She'll be right, mate. He's a. Uh, Barbecue. Just kind of laying there and ready to roll. Oh man. I could snip the brass off that, but I reckon that thing probably works pretty well, I guess. Yep, it's not a bad one. Ah, it's got a, got a dead wheel over there. That's the problem. <sighs> I'm going to leave that. So this chair here. It's free around here. I'm not sure whether that means you can take it or it's a political statement. Oh, I'm just not sure. So, uh, well, yeah. Free the chairs. I don't know. More pots and pans. More rubbish. These dumpsters here, I'd never look in because they belong to a food place and they're just, you just don't want to be there. <laughs> so that was a trip uh, with some unexpected uh, bonuses. Uh, we ended up with this big pile of uh, wire for stripping. That was all the TPS, but I stripped the white stuff off the outside at the dumpster because I had time to do it, um, and it was easy. And it made it a lot less bulky too. Uh, stripping the white stuff off, off this TPS removes, generally removes about between 30 to 50% of the weight. Uh, so yeah. Got that stuff for stripping, and there's probably there's probably look there's about three kilos there. When you strip it, it'll halve in weight, so it'll come back to about a kilo and a half or something like that. There's probably about ten, fifteen dollars there. Fifteen dollars if you're an optimist, or if you're a bit of a pessimist like me, there's ten bucks. Um, that bit there, I've already cut all the ends off the low grade insulated copper wire so there's a whole heap of plugs there to pull the brass pins out of. Um, oh, I didn't film this but there was another dumpster I came across and it had some fan controllers and stuff in it so a little transformer electric motor type thing there. Um, and various light switches and things that'll have good brass content in them and a wall mount electrical socket which I may keep or may not depending
depending on how good it looks when I have a good look at it. Here we are, uh, we had this all this low grade insulated copper wire, so we saved that one from going into landfill as well, all saved from the dumpster. And, um, and then finally that lousy little bit of uh, what they call attachment wire, which is um, comms wire. Comms wire, which you leave the ends on and everything like that. In, in America you get, a, you get a good dollar for that, and in Australia you get lousy money for it. I don't know why. So, yeah, an unexpected little bonus. Um, I didn't expect to even make a video today, but there you go. And I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you would. And um, look, thank you very much for watching. Bye.